Hi, I'm Alan Coggins with Heidelberg. I'd like to share with you how the components of ink impact your vinyl finished product. Ink is made of several components as we have laid out here. Uh, the first component being wax. Wax is there to impart slip and rub resistance. In the old days, we had a product called a wax compound that was basically a car wax or carnauba wax. Uh, it worked well, but uh, you couldn't do a lot of after offline things like foil stamp and it wasn't heat resistant. Today's modern waxes are PTFE waxes and they're basically used in conjunction with several things, but this allows you to foil stamp and allows uh, laser compatibility up to 375 degrees. Our next component of ink is varnish. And varnish is made up of a product called resin. Resin is imparted from trees and it is heated up and basically what comes out is a product called a free flow varnish. Uh, additives are added to make this varnish either really thin like this is or really thick. And this, this imparts a gel varnish. A gel varnish is there to impart body to the ink. Uh, body to the ink helps the misting on a press and it allows the ink to print a sharp dot. Uh, the free flow varnish is there to help the ink flow down the roller train and transfer on the sheet. Our next component of ink are dryers. All inks contain dryers. Uh, there's two types of dryer. There's a product called cobalt dryer, which is a top dryer. That helps the ink set on the sheet. That's what you see when you pull out a delivery and you put your hand across the sheet. Within about two to three minutes, the ink is starting to tack up. That's a cobalt dryer. The manganese dryer is there. It helps dry from the bottom of the sheet up and dries all the way through the film. Our next component of ink is what everyone sees on the sheet, which is the color. Uh, this product is called a dry color. It's an organic pigment. Uh, it's basically manufactured through chemicals. In the old days, though, ink makers made blacks out of basically soot or burnt from a, um, like your chimneys. And they added it with linseed oil, and that's what blacks were in the old days. Today's modern pigments, though, are a little more different. They're all chemically based. And what some ink makers do, though, is they make a, they use a product called a flush. This is a dry color and a varnish mixed together, and it just basically is an ease of use type product. The drawback to that is, though, is this product gives you a lot more formulation latitude and color strength. You can actually make a product a lot stronger with a dry color than you can a flushed product. And our final product today is reducer, or oils. There's two types of oil. There's a linseed type of oil and there's a petroleum based product. And the oils are there to help control the tack or the stickiness of the ink. Now that we've talked about all the components of ink, I hope this gives you a better understanding what ink is made of, what's in the can. Uh, 